In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of grace, we open our hearts, minds, and souls to worship you. Thank you that today we dwell in your kingdom and live in your presence. Thank you that as we gather together, we join with Josephians to glorify your holy name. Come be with us, inspire us, and lead us in our time together. We ask all this in the beautiful name of Jesus. Amen. This is SJAB 1957 News Patrol, the voice, the agent, the catalyst of Ugaso, broadcasting live at St. Joseph Academy Incorporated, Ugaso Antique. Here are your news anchors for today. Good day, Bugaso. Good day, Josephians. Today is January 31, 2022. Such a vigorous day indeed. This is your Manang Alexa Jane Altahai. And this is your Manong Joseph Benedict Espia, serving you the hottest and the most leading news of the hour. Your news, our business. For the headlines, St. Joseph Academy recalls its events from November to January. Literature is a medium which articulates the innermost voices of one's soul. It is truly pivotal to bear substantial knowledge regarding the quintessence of literature. Hence, the St. Thomas Aquinas Best Sellers Hype Club of St. Joseph Academy Incorporated launched the activity Reading, Pillar of Literacy with the theme Joyful Reading in a New World last November 5, 2021 in the hopes of enriching the learners about the importance of learning literature and showcasing their oratory skills to the public. Good day, Josephians! This afternoon, the Best Seller Hive Club will launch the activity Reading, Pillar of Literacy with the theme, Joyful Reading in a New World. Promoting literacy is believed to prepare the youth for success. Beyond the functional level, being in addition to the former event, a monthly mass and maintenance personal development workshop on MS Word was held last November 12, 2021 and followed by the workshop on MS Excel last November 19. Furthermore, November 17 to 20 marks the dates for the examination week. Finally, last November 29 was the culmination of reading, pillar of literacy event, Posting of Certificates of Outstanding Performance in the SJ Office of the Student Services Coordinator Facebook page and uploading of selected videos on the YouTube channel. Now, to fill you in with the further events that had occurred within the month of December, may I welcome Manong Joseph Benedict Ispia. Thank you for the warm welcome, Madam Alexa. To educate the learners about the importance of environmental conservation and ecological balance and its support to the Enhanced National Greening Program, 
of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources or DENR, the school St. Albert the Great Society of Young Wizards Club proudly launched the activity Tree Planting Club last December 2, 2021, bearing the theme Samasamang Paghilos, Samasamang Paghilo, Ikaw, Ako, Tayo Ang Kalikasan. Good afternoon, Desafians. Today, the St. Albert the Great Society of Young Wizard will launch the activity Tree Planting Vlog with the theme Samasamang Pagkilos, Samasamang Paghilo, Ikaw, Ako, Tayo Ang Kalikasan. Moreover, last December 6 was the first parent-teacher conference and card-giving day. Announcement of Academic Excellence Awardees for the first quarter followed by the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, which was celebrated last December 8. Following those events was another examination week that was scheduled last December 14 to 17. The exam dates for December 16 and 17 were postponed due to the sudden uproar of Typhoon Odette. Additionally, December 15 was the date for the appreciation of the learner's output for the tree planting club, posting of certificates of outstanding performance in the SJA Office of the Student Services Coordinator Facebook page, and uploading of selected videos on the YouTube channel. Finally, December 18 was the Josephian family get-together wherein the Josephians assembled on the grounds of St. Joseph Academy Incorporated to reunite and gather as one family in celebrating the joy that unites humanity in the celebration of Christmas. This Josephian family get-together was composed of the following activities. Caravan, a Holy Mass, the presentation of Christmas greetings, and Barrio Fiesta, which was done per glass. Due continuation of the school's events, allow me to welcome back Manang Alexa Jane Alcahan. Thank you, Mr. Joseph. The Blessed Jane of Assas Techie Home Club launched an event called the Food Conservation Awareness Program with the theme, Save Food Today for a Healthy Tomorrow. A prosperous new year to one and all. Today, the Blessed Jane of Assas Techie Home Club will launch the monthly activity Food Conservation Awareness Program with the theme, Save Food Today for a Healthy Tomorrow. As stated in the Proclamation Number 1398, Series of 1975, the food crisis obtaining in some parts of the world. The said event was launched last January 7, 2022 and will last until January 28, 2022. The said program aims to complement the Philippine government's effort not only to increase the country's food supply, but also promote the conservation of food. January 4, 2022 marks the end of the Christmas break and the resumption of classes for the Josephians. Furthermore, January 17, St. Joseph Academy joins the float parade for the Bugasam Song Festival. Finally, on January 26 to 28 will be the second periodical test. At this portion, may we please give our sincerest welcome to the school's religious education coordinator, Sister Maria Apome Tabsing OP, for she will recount the events and activities that were carried out within the last few months in regard to the school's religious education services. Blessed day everyone, I am Sister Marie Apple Maya Titeb Singh OP, your Religious Education Coordinator for this school year 2021-2022. I am here to present to you various activities and the Religious Education Office. 
To mark the opening of the academic year, it is but fitting to ask for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Thus, the Mass of the Holy Spirit has been a long-standing tradition of every Catholic institution. Our school, St. Joseph Academy Incorporated, had it last September 8, 2021, with Rev. Father Mark Allen Santina as the Mass Presider. As this school year begins, we challenge ourselves to do the task entrusted to us as Dominican educators and you as Josephian learners, asking the Holy Spirit to guide us and bring light to all of our future endeavors amidst the challenges brought about by COVID-19 pandemic. September 8 also marks the Feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. As a simple tribute, we had a cake party sponsored by our learners, and had it been distributed to our dedicated frontliners within the municipality of Bogasum, Antique. We wish to extend our prayerful thanks for their loving service. Going to work during this COVID-19 pandemic has placed frontline workers under immense and unprecedented pressure, put, putting their physical, mental, and social well-being at risk. May this simple gesture of love make them feel that we are all in this together. We thank you, Santa Romana Ison Memorial Hospital. Municipal Disaster Risk Reduction Management Office. Bugaso Medicare Community Hospital. Bureau of Fire Protection. Bugaso Police Station. Santo Nino de Bugasong Parish Church St. Joseph Academy Incorporated Faculty and Staff Mayor's Office Bugasong Rural Health Unit Bugasong We thank you, our dear generous sponsors. Last September 10, we had our faculty and staff onset recollection here in school. It was given by yours truly with the theme, Gifted to Give, Building a Dominican Josephian Spirit. This recollection aims to set the spiritual mood of everyone and be able to attune with the unfolding plan of God as we start afresh for another academic year. In this active activity, I let them see the giftedness they have as individual and challenge them on how they could contribute to the communal demand of being a teacher. The bundle of works ahead can be very stressful, but we hope to make it lighter with the help of one another. I gave them a fork with the tagline, Better things are yet to come. A hopeful reminder that indeed, with God, better things will surely come. In the afternoon of that same day, teachers and staff had their acquaintance activities. This aimed to set their body into a joyful mood and for the new teachers to get acquainted with the rest of the faculty. They played a couple of games that challenged their teamwork, creativity, alertness, and vocals. You may say that your teachers are strict and stern, but they are full of laughters on the other way. Here comes October, the month of the rosary. Here in school, we started having black rosary. We carry the statue of the Blessed Mother from classrooms to offices and pray the rosary together as one in faith and through the intercession of the blessed virgin mary we stand to fight against the fast transmission of covid 19 and hope that this pandemic will come to its complete end on october 7 
we celebrated the feast of Our Lady, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, in the Eucharistic Sacrifice of the Mass. On this day also, we launched the journey to the Mysteries of the Rosary, a catechesis video. It was participated by selected teachers and learners who delivered catechesis about every Mysteries of the Rosary. Another activity at the Red Office is having online recollection for grades 5, 7 to 11 via Google Meet and face-to-face -face recollection for first communicants from grades 3 and 4 learners and graduating learners of grade 6 and grade 12. We also have monthly masses and daily prayers streamed live via the school's Facebook account. We encourage our learners to participate actively in their respective homes. Religious Education Facebook page also exists to give you schedules, reminders, and infographics on the feast and solemnities of Dominican saints. Here comes December, a special month of sharing and celebration. December highlighted the Nativity of our Savior Jesus Christ on Christmas Day. Last September 10, we sisters, the faculty and staff, had our Advent recollection at Rosa Mystica Private Resort and Retreat Center with Rev. Father Alex Salvante as our facilitator. This Advent season, is a time of preparation that directs our hearts and minds to Christ's second coming, likewise the anniversary of our Lord's birth on Christmas. This anticipation is best to be done with a recollection wherein we intend to have a personal encounter with God through meditation, silence, reflection, and prayer. It primarily seeks to renew faith that may have long been practiced but not fully internalized so as to bring about the desired positive transformation of every human being. It is an opportunity for everyone to find or contemplate on the meaning of their existence, the time to relax and unwind so that we can live life in harmony with our Lord Jesus Christ. Last December 18, we were gathered again here in school for a family day. First time again for almost two years of pandemic. We graced that day with a Eucharistic celebration presided by Rev. Father Mark Allen Santina. Our final activity for the last year, 2021, was sponsoring the Aguinaldo Mass dated December 20 with the teachers as the lead choir. And we wished everyone a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year as we part ways for Christmas break. Upcoming activities on the Religious Education Office. We have on February 11, First Holy Communion of grade 3 and grade 4 learners. February 17, we will be celebrating the 137th birthday of Mother Rosario. And on March 2, it is Ash Wednesday. It marks the start of the Lenten season. March 19, Feast of St. Joseph, Husband of Mary. These are all from the Office of the Religious Education Coordinator. May you continue to remain hopeful and faithful amidst these trying times under pandemic. Stay safe, everyone, and may God bless us all. Thank you.
so much for your words, Sister Apple. It is with certainty that the religious education services' efforts in supplementing knowledge regarding our spiritual life and constantly reminding all of us about the notable virtues and values of one's faith have been truly recognized by men, especially the learners of SJA. That is all for the pending news. We truly hope that you have a wonderful day or night. Once again, I am your Manang Alexa Jane Altahai. And I am your Manang Joseph Serving you the news with no bias. News with no exceptions. Includes nothing but the truth. The voice. The agent. The catalyst of Ugaso. This has been SJB 1957 News Patrol signing off. And may God bless us all.